friends. I hope that you are having a wonderful week so far. Uh, today I am going to be going a little bit more in depth uh, in a tutorial that came out, uh, gosh, while I was gone, um, it was. So uh, this is going to be a video talking about the uh, what they are calling the Sarah Rifka Bow Wrap. Uh, this is a tutorial that I originally did for Rapunzel. Uh, and yeah, it seems really popular. Uh, I see some people have been struggling a little bit with it. So uh, that's what we're going to be talking about today. I'm going to be going over it, doing tips and tricks, and also showing you a handful of variations. So I've got my Cloud 9 shaper on as usual, and I am going to be starting today with a silver uh, shiny licious. So uh, you can do this with honestly just about any scarf. I haven't tried it with one of the really thick pashminas, like um, like a tapestry, um, but it works well with the cranberry. It works well with like the layers of love type scarves, um, and certainly with the thinner ones. So um, although I happen to think that it tends to look best with a midweight scarf, um, this is a very thin one. But we're just gonna go with it anyway. So. You can start this wrap any number of ways. So I really like having a V at the front, but 100% if you just want to bring this straight across, you can absolutely do that. And then it's up to you because what's going to happen is that the first end that you bring up is going to have a tail this length. So if that feels like a good length for you, then you can put this on evenly and depending on how big your head is, I know mine's a little bit smaller than average, um, but depending on how big your head is, this is where it's going to sit. So right now is a good time to figure out what you want. And I think in my case, I actually do want this a little bit longer. So I am going to scooch my scarf a little bit off to the side. And then I'm going to tie it in a knot at the back of my head. Now, you don't have to tie it. If you just want to crisscross, um, you can do that. And that is what I would recommend if you are working with a heavier scarf. So now all that's going to happen is that this first end, I'm going to bring up and over, folding in my raw edges. And now I'm going to take this end, I am going to also, with this shorter tail, I'm going to bring in my raw edges. And I am going to start by tying a beginner's luck knot. So this is going to come down in front, and I'm going to wrap it around one time and pull it nice and taut. So then I'm going to take this end here, and I'm going to bring it around again, but this time I am only going to pull it partially through. Now, this is where my first tip comes in. Start small. Start with as little over here as possible. You can always pull more out, but it's easier to keep it tidier if it's smaller, and especially a scarf this thin that doesn't have a lot of structure to it. If you try to do it too big, your bow is going to look really floppy, um, and possibly a little bit messy. And if that's something you're cool with, totally up to you. But to keep it like contained and tidy, start small. So I'm just going to pull this very, very little bit. And I'm going to try and keep my finger here so that I don't accidentally pull it through. So now I'm going to take this end I'm going to fold in my fringes and then this is going to pass back through and I'm going to try not to disrupt this scarf as much as possible. I'm going to pass this back through and then this tail I'm going to go ahead and tuck back up under just like so all the way around. So now, hopefully, I have two relatively even things here, 
and this is where I'm going to fluff them out just a little bit. Again, start with less. You can always fluff them out more. And just to, to give it a little bit extra security, I'm going to pull this tail downward. And that is the basic bow wrap. So here it is from the front, from the side. I highly recommend checking in a mirror <laughs> to make sure that it's nice and even. Uh, the back and the other side. So very simple, very easy. And then the easiest variation to do, which I also did in the Rapunzel tutorial, is to then take this tail down here, fold in the fringes, and then bring it back behind the head and then also just take this and tuck it up like so. Very nice, very tidy, just a little bit of a bow detail over here. And other than that, it is a super clean wrap. This would be an awesome wrap to wear into um, to a work environment, I think. Here it is from the front, side, back, and the other side. So this is obviously super versatile, super easy. Um, and you can also, if you want, do it on an angle. So that is how I did uh, when I did the tutorial for Rapunzel, I did it on an angle. So instead, take this, angle it to the side. Same knot in the back. And then this is going to come up and over, complete that V shape. And then exactly as I did before, if you want, you could even give this a little bit of a twist just to really bring it in, make it nice and tidy. And then this guy is gonna come around once, come around twice, halfway through, Fold in my little fringes. Right back in. And then tuck it up and under. So if you want, if you have any bits that are sticking out, you can tuck those in, fluff it out as much or as little as you like. And there it is with the angled look and you can adjust that to your liking. So very, very simple, very easy. Um, yeah, those are, those are the main variations that came to mind doing this as a one scarf wrap. But I also did wanna show, um, I did shoot a little something for Rapunzel um, in advance of their Black Friday sale. And one of the things that I did is I did the same wrap, but as a sash. So I am going to take this scarf off. I am going to put this one on just as a plain uh, regal wrap. So tie it behind my head, bring my first scarf tail up and around. Again, if you want to do this straight across instead of um, with an angle, you are always free to do that. And then this scarf, similarly, just going to come up around and I'm just going to tuck this one in at the nape of my neck. Como ça? All right. Uh, so now I am going to take an Israeli tickle. This, uh, you can use any square scarf. This is a sterling Israeli tickle in denim. I've got it folded into a triangle and I am going to start from here folding it into a sash. So I am going to first kind of fold it over itself uh, lengthwise. 
so this is what it looks like now and then I am going to fold it down again lengthwise so this is what I've got I'm building these layers here at the bottom and then I'm going to fold this just one more time to get a relatively thin sash with some pleats in it. So this is what it looks like when it's on the head, but of course, we are not just going to tie it plainly. Instead, I'm going to bring this one over here, and this is another where you can make that as long or as short as you want it. So I think I want it a little bit shorter, so I'm gonna scooch this to the side, bring this around, and now exact same procedure. So I'm going to tie this in a knot once, and then this is going to come around a second time, and I'm going to pull it halfway through. Just like that. And then exact same procedure, no fringes to fold in, but this is just going to come right back through. And then this will get tucked up just like that. And so trying to make sure that these are nice and even, fluff it out a little bit. And there you have it. Lovely little sash. Got that little fringe sticking out there. Take care of that. But yeah, a nice little sash. You could do this over a regal wrap. You could do it over a sheer tails. Uh, but this is what it looks like. I think this one could stand to be a little bit fluffier. Yeah. There we go. All right, so from the front, from the side, back. Mirror also helpful under these situations. Uh, the other side, and that's Okay, so um, I have one final look that I had kind of forgotten about, <laughs> um, but I did this uh, it was one of the last looks that I published before I left to go on my trip. Um, I did this for the Renaissance Festival using the same technique. So I'm going to start it much like I started the last one. And I'm going to take this scarf and I am going to bring it up and over, um, but I am going to let it hang out for a moment. And now I am going to take my sash here, which I'm going to refold very slightly. And I am going to try and let this sit so that it is about the same length What's going on here? Something went awry. All right, hang on, let me refold this in a second. Okay, refold there and there. And here we go. The little points wanna stick out there, it's fine. We're just gonna tuck those underneath. You shouldn't see it once it gets pulled taut. Okay. Adjust up here. And then this end, I am going to bring around and tuck back into itself. I can't remember if I actually tied it in place. This feels, this is the problem with trying to recreate a wrap that I did 
months and months and months ago. <laughs> so I don't remember exactly what I did. Okay, I'm gonna leave that for right now. And we're just gonna focus on this. So I'm going to bring this around both my Israeli tichel and the other scarf so that I have these two layers going on. And it is gonna be the same sort of deal. Pull it through. Bring in my fringes. And put it under. I did this before with just a regular Israeli tichel and not with a sterling, which the sterlings and the goldens definitely do have a little bit more heft to them that can make them a little bit more challenging to work with. So I think I probably just wrapped it up and around and tucked it in, but a little bit more challenging to do that with this guy than with a regular one, but that feels okay. That feels all right to me. And then I'm gonna give this a nice little tug to snug it up and kind of pull them in opposite directions so they both stand out. And then again, fluff up my bow. If you start getting, um, you know, again, bits that are too floppy, you can also just tuck them in under here uh, to keep them from flopping all over the place and keep it a little bit neater, a little bit more contained and like the same thing. Back here. All right. All right, so that is the final variation from the front side, back and the other side. So there you go in-depth look at uh, my bow wrap. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, until next time, thank you so much for watching. That's a wrap.